Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, today we're doing another FAQ. You guys have been devouring these videos. You guys really appreciate these, and so do I, because I love reading all the engagement and comments that you guys leave on these videos. Today, we're gonna be talking about gas prices. We're going in the summertime, like clockwork, every year, right around May, June, the gas prices always start ticking up, five, 10%, no surprise. But I would love to talk to you guys a little bit more about gas prices and how or if we charge our customers more, and if we do, how we go about doing that so we're gonna check that out right here right now let's stay tuned let's check it out All right guys, what's up? My name is Brian here with Brian's Law Maintenance. My channel is all about helping you guys grow a more successful lawn care landscaping business so you guys can go out there and crush it. If you guys are new here, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. It means a lot, and by the way, I can double check. No, I'm just having fun, any which way. If you guys enjoy this video by the time it's done, definitely smash that like button, super appreciate that. Let's get into it. A lot of you guys wanna know about gas prices. I'm gonna answer this popular question kind of in two facets. Number one is the a la carte lawn mowing company, and number two is the contract lawn care and landscaper. So number one, a lot of folks, myself included, mow a la carte. Well, what does that mean? Meaning we just mow week to week, month to month, and we just charge uh, cards on file at the end of the month or drop an invoice off, whatever you guys decide to do, right? But a lot of folks uh, also do contracts where they say, hey, we'll mow your lawn for 26 weeks, 28 weeks, 30 weeks straight, so on and so forth. And you have a signed contract to do all that maintenance work. The million dollar question that always starts creeping up, especially in the summer, time and especially if there's any kind of like issues with the economy or even like the worldwide economic um, you know big picture of, uh, of what's going on in the world uh, oil prices right so it is a very um, real question that I get asked a lot and in fact it's very uh, near and dear to me because when I got started with my lawn care and landscaping business it was actually in 2007 2008 when the world saw basically the highest gas prices ever not accounting for inflation so on and so forth okay but back when I got started gas was about three dollars a gallon and less than six months later it was like four dollars and twenty cents a gallon which was pretty crazy and pretty crippling for a new startup lawn care business as you can imagine so here's the deal when my first customer signed on as I was a mow as you go a la carte guy and I was definitely the low baller I was definitely the rookie a lot of you guys still think I probably am just having fun but in any which way uh, most of my lawns were 20 22 dollars and since then they're all 27 to 30 dollars now right we've creeped those numbers up uh, just because the business costs more money it's you know five or six eight ten years later got to be making more right so here's the deal uh, but at the same time when the gas started going up I did notify all of my customers that all their prices would be going up at least one or two dollars per week per cut how do we handle that I literally just called every customer as the gas prices were creeping up and I think literally there's some days when it creeped up like 30 and 40 cents within like a 30 day window back in 07, 08 and whatever the heck was going on in the economy. Back then I was 19 years old, wasn't really paying too much attention to things. How much do you know at 19 years old, right? Uh, unless some of you guys are watching this channel, a lot of you guys know a lot of good stuff at 19 years old, but it's a whole nother topic. <laughs> we didn't have YouTube back in the day like it is today. So what I did is I talked to all my customers and I was just honest with folks. I said, hey, and by the way, honesty is one of the best tactics and strategies that I have in my business too many times people come with really uh, fancy stories or really drawn-out narratives about why they're doing something like hey our price went up two dollars a week because uh, my mom's got da 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 hey my insurance went up you know I got to be honest with you I got to pass that, co that cost on to my customers or I'm gonna be eating uh, my profits and I can't have that happen. and customers go hey no problem they understand Everything else in life goes up three to 5% per year. Why not their lawn mowing price, right? So what I did with all my customers is I shot them straight. I said, hey, gas is a runaway freight train. You probably already seen that at the pump. Oh yeah, honey. In fact, what most of the customers told me was, hey, why don't you go ahead and throw an extra dollar or two on the bill per week, per month. A lot of folks said, hey, if you gotta add a $10 surcharge, go ahead and do it. If you gotta add a $5 per month surcharge, go ahead and do it, I totally understand. Irony to the whole situation was that with the EFI motors that we have on our engines, how long it actually takes to cut a lawn, we're talking about an extra thimble of gas um, that we use per client. And the reality is like, each lawn is probably an extra quarter in actual cost, maybe even less. So it really wasn't that 
uh, crazy of an additional expense, okay? But here's the deal, all of our customers, because of the media, because of news, because of society, they all thought the world was you know, burning and everything was going crazy and it was anarchy, right? They all thought that my business was also on fire. And so it wasn't uncommon for their milk to go up, their gas at the pump for their own cars to go up, uh, companies were coming out with more fuel efficient cars. So this whole calamity about gas uh, was actually a thing that it didn't take re uh, a lot of selling out of me to convince the customer that we had to change their price by an extra dollar or two per week. In fact, almost every customer, and I remember this like it was yesterday, said, honey, absolutely no big deal. And the real uh, honest answer is we actually made more money. When gas prices went up, I charged every single customer an extra dollar or two per cut per week. You take that times, let's say 50 customers, times an extra 50 to 100 bucks per week, times four weeks in a month, that's $400 more per month. My gas prices went up about you know, maybe 10%. So whatever, if gas was $3, it was $3.30 or whatever. The reality is that on the whole month, I probably used an extra 50 bucks a month in fuel. I had a smaller business back then, right? But my revenue went up like $400 per month on all that. So in fact, when the gas prices went through the roof, my profits went significantly higher. Just kind of how it works. A lot of people like, they freak out when they hear stuff like this, but they don't put pen to paper and realize their numbers. And I've always been a numbers driven guy even back in 2007, 2008. So same thing, when uh, gas goes up again, we're gonna tell all of our customers, hey, honest answer, we're gonna go up a dollar or two until gas comes down under the $3 mark, or $3.50 mark, whatever it is. It's not a hard sell for us to communicate that to our customers. You think you have to sell and convince your customers. The reality is that they're listening to the news all day and they have to uh, you know, combat that during the day. So they already are convinced that the world is burning down. So when you call and say, hey, I need another dollar per week, they don't really care, okay? So it's not a big issue. The question I have for you guys is the folks that have contracts. Do you guys leave it in your contracts to uh, have a one to 3% um, increase if gas hits a certain threshold? I've noticed that in a lot of contracts I've read and seen that you guys send me just to kind of look at and glance at and review, uh, a lot of contracts say, hey, if gas reaches, you have a number usually in your contract, $3.50. If gas reaches that, uh, we will charge an additional one or 3% uh, on top of the weekly mowing price, even if it's locked in because the contract, uh, but you still have that subject line. Sort of like with salt prices. If salt prices go up, so will that cost will be passed on to the customer. And customers gotta realize like, hey, like we're, it's not commodities, but it's my costs are gonna be your costs now, right? It's just kind of how the business works. So is that something you guys do? Do you guys leave little um, uh, clauses in your contracts if you guys are more contract-based business? Let me know, leave me a comment down below. And by the way, if you're not and you guys just do things a la carte, just like I said, do you guys have those conversations with your customers to let them know that if gas reaches a certain threshold that you'll also be charging them an extra dollar or two a week? I spilled the cards. I told you guys exactly what I do. I'd love to hear what you guys do. Leave me a comment down below, weigh in, check it out. And guys, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys appreciate these FAQs. If you do, hit the thumbs up. I definitely appreciate it. Check out this other playlist here with all the rest of the other FAQs if you guys enjoy it. Guys, that's it. Hopefully you enjoy this one. We'll catch you guys on the next one.